Hello everyone, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Warning, the following content you are about to hear may involve certain phrases or words that could be triggering to some who have gone through them. Sound effects used to enhance immersion may also be of discomfort for some. This is your heads up. Viewer discretion is advised. Story 3 The Hobo Man Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Desiree, and I don't know how to tell you this story, as there are tons of moving parts and events that took place, but I will give you the main bullet points. It all started years ago, when I was five years old. My mom had just moved into a shady apartment complex. The rooms were big enough for a family of six, while we were three, so we had no problem there. Until somewhere along the line, a malicious spirit made itself known to not just me, but my whole family. One afternoon, my parents took me out of the apartment to go get some groceries. Now in general, we would come back home expecting nothing but a cold apartment. Keep in mind the door, as it obviously should be, is locked. When we opened the door, all you could see was cabinet doors flung open, some of them nearly hanging on by one or two hinges from how hard they'd been pulled. Plates scattered the tile floor and mugs just broken. It was a mess. We knew at this point we were dealing with not your everyday passing by Casper of a spirit. This one was far more aggressive and clearly wanted to mark its place in that house. My mom and dad cleaned up the mess that day and did their best to calm me down as it had me incredibly rattled. The following night after that ordeal, it just so happened my aunt had come over too. She sometimes stayed the night to spend quality time with all of us. She was very spiritual too, and knew something was up with the place. My mom had just put me to bed, and I was starting to drift into a calm sleep, when all of a sudden, I opened my eyes almost instinctively. I looked at the clock. I remembered it had just hit 12 a.m. Some nights, I'd wake up at 2 a.m. I would continually do this for the three months I was there. Anyway, my door was always open in case my parents needed to run in to check on me. The hallway had a nightlight that was dim and easy to sleep with, but because of that, I saw him for the first time. Standing in the doorway was an eight foot tall, shadowy silhouette of a man with a disfigured head, almost as if that side had been crushed. There were no visible eyes, but I felt him intently staring. There was no mouth, but I felt him smirking at me. What stood out was he would always prop his elbow on the doorframe, earning him the nickname, The Elbow Man. I began to freak out as anyone would. Hearing my panic, my mom sprang out of bed only to stop in the hallway. She saw him too. She calls for my aunt who's sleeping on the couch, but nothing. Turns out she was trying to get up but experienced a state of paralysis when she felt his presence near my room. Safe to say, none of us slept well that night. My aunt tells us the following morning her account of the story, and heads back home that day. I still don't know why it tormented me so badly to this day, but it had different plans with my mom, and this was the final straw. One uneventful afternoon, my mom had just finished making dinner, keeping me and dad fed. She decided to take a little breather and get some shut-eye on the one-person sofa. It had a soft fabric headrest, and her hair had been splayed out resting on it. My mom told me that in that moment of rest, she felt a manly pair of hands grab her hair and felt a sharp tug. The experience traumatized her as she was suffering a sore neck the day after from how strong of a pull it was. She had had enough. She grabbed me and my dad and left the apartment after only three months of living there. We stayed with friends for a time and that ultimately gave us the peace we needed. Luckily, whoever he was didn't follow, 
but what I can say for sure is this. His presence and the nightmare he left me with when I lived there will always play out in the back of my mind. And that name will always chill my bones. The Elbow Man. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.